Hi and welcome to Fast Electric Bike. Today we're going to have a quick look at the new sort of kits that are available now. You've all seen uh, this kit I have on my bike here with the uh, 1000 watt 48 volt rear hub motor uh, connected up with a 20 amp hour battery in this little box here with a speed controller behind and all the wiring as you can see. But a lot of you have been asking, how about getting a faster one? And the real limitation is the size of the rear wheel. The standard rear uh, dropout on a bike like this is 135 millimeter wide and uh, nine millimeter axle. So if you wanna to stick to a standard bike frame, here's a few options which are available now. I've got them up here show you now remember my one is a thousand watt nowadays you can get the 1500 watt ones here on the uh, Chinese website again you see this one here is a uh, 1500 watt 48 volt comes with a uh, 20 amp hour battery as well and <laughs> You can order this with free shipping to the UK. The important thing to note here is 135 millimeter width axle, which means it will fit a standard bike frame. And as this one shows here, this is quite common for most of them. It does about 65 kilometers an hour, which in uh, miles an hour is about 40 miles an hour. Shows you all the bits. That's the metal speed controller box, the levers, twist throttle, and a pedal sensor if you want that, and all these bits and pieces. And it's important to try and find one with some kind of uh, feedback. This one's got a bit of feedback, so at least you can trust it a bit more. But also you have to be aware, because they're coming from China, you you will be subject to some import duties. Uh, when I got my one, it cost me about 30 quid each. They normally ship the battery and the wheel hub separately. And if you're not satisfied with 40 miles an hour, then they just about do a new kit now. That is a two kilowatt, 2000 watts. And this one does 80 kilometers an hour, which is near on 50 miles an hour. And again, if you just look down through the details, the important thing to note is 135 millimeter width axle and any of the other ones you see on here which are higher wattage than this most of them have a much wider axle so they won't fit a standard uh, bike frame this is obviously for the rear wheel and uh, gives you all the dimensions there 135 is what has to fit in your uh, in your bike frame and these are only just coming on the market now so uh, normally they don't come with a battery so you have to look for that but the important other thing to note is these are 72 volts so the voltage has gone up as well now, I found a battery here they do vary in price quite a lot these batteries because they're quite big around about 400 quid up to like 700 and so forth but obviously just have a look around and see what one you can find but if you want to go 50 miles an hour that's the way to go and unfortunately you still do have to buy it from China because if you go to the uh, UK eBay site you stick in that and it comes up with zero listings in the UK you can only really get the thousand watt motors at the moment so unfortunately you do have to go through the Aliexpress Chinese site but uh, I found a slight discount you can get if any of you are familiar with this cashback site in the UK called top, top cashback you just register with them and then any online purchase you do through aliexpress you'll get one percent cashback so you just click that button and once you're signed in and it'll take you through to aliexpress you buy the thing as you would do on there and then this uh, website tracks it and uh, gives you back the one percent and another new development now that they're becoming more popular if you're still looking at the uh, 48 one volt ones the, nowadays it's becoming more popular to do different shape batteries 
which makes it easier to put it in the frame. So you can have these uh, these kind of shaped triangular type batteries becoming more and more popular. Here you see them, so that uh, even that one comes with a bag, so it's easier to fit and stand inside a, uh, a, a normal frame instead of having to build the uh, kind of box I put on my one. All right, that's uh, that's all for the moment. That's what is available at the moment, and uh, I'll keep you updated in the future as new ones become available. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've watched my previous video with the whole guide on my bike here. And if you haven't watched it, I'll stick the link at the end of this video to explain all about this one. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.